he came bearing gifts. Look at this. Some delicious cookie this cake. This is two days in a row, right? In the house. Yeah, two days in a row. But I, I've been told you guys have to wait till you get off the air because this blue will stain your teeth. The blue absolutely stains yeah. the teeth and yeah. the lips, and it's and it's obvious and noticeable. Uh, let's talk about the game stuff yeah. tonight that everybody wants to know about. Uh, one of the things you and I had talked about earlier, Victor Oladipo yeah. got a chip on his shoulder, or as you mentioned, a brick <laughs> on his shoulder. The guy has a lot riding on this season for him for his own pride. He does. I mean, this is a guy that's averaged about 17 points per game in his career, started his career in Orlando, played last year with Russell Westbrook at Oklahoma City. When he would come to Bankers Life Fieldhouse as an opponent, he, he might be one of the most revered players with Hoosier ties. Yeah. And so we saw that on Fan Jam on Sunday. I mean, the crowd of 8,000 went crazy. Uh, I think he's going to have a really good year because you're right. Uh, many people across the country panned the trade. Uh, Paul George right, for Sabonis and Oladipo. Right. I think the Pacers came out pretty good with two really good young players, and they want to prove it. There's no question about that. You know, he that. told our sports team back in July that he didn't even know about the trade. He was on a plane, and he landed and saw on his phone that he had been traded. Yeah. And so I think he's got a lot to prove. Let's talk about uh, Doma Sabonis, yeah. because you say he's one of those guys that you got to watch this year. I mean, he's a guy that his dad, Arvita Sabonis, uh, is a Hall of Famer, uh, one of the all-time great uh, international players and NBA players. He's only 21 years old. Amazing. Uh, he can shoot the ball from the perimeter like Miles Turner. He's tough. He rebounds. He can play the five. He can play the four, which is the center of the power forward. I think he's going to have a breakout year. I really do. Uh, and he's already done some good things in preseason, yeah. you know, and being able to see that. Yeah, already. he had a double double uh, in a game. He's played off the bench. He's averaged double figures. I think about eight rebounds per game. I think this guy, he, he wants to be good. Uh, this whole team wants to be good. Right, they have an right. energy about them that we probably haven't seen for a few years. There's a hunger. And I think while Victor may have the brick on his uh, shoulder, I think a lot of the players have a chip on their shoulder because uh, they've been viewed so poorly, oh, yeah, if you will. they've been discounted. Yeah, discounted yeah. By, the, by the NBA, uh, by the national media. So they're very hungry. Yeah, we've got four of the six leading scorers from last year not on the roster right. anymore. So let's talk about Miles Turner, who you mentioned, Lance Stevenson, some of the more familiar names that we're going to see again tonight. Miles Turner is only 21 years old, but he's already proving to be a leader. And he's a guy that averaged 14 points and eight rebounds last year. Uh, but he's ready to have a breakout season. Lance Stevenson, there's something about him in an Indiana <laughs> uniform. He is the he's the the lightning. Rod, he's the you know? Energizer Bunny, and uh, I'm, I mean I don't know where the season would have ended last year without Lance for the final yeah. six games. Uh, he's enthusiastic. Uh, he'll be the sixth man. He'll be the first guy off the bench, and I think he just brings a lot of energy and a lot of confidence to this group. All right. Well, I got to put on my Pacers jacket. Okay. Uh, anybody who knows me here at the station knows that I, I wear this Pacers jacket all the time. <laughs> Not only because I love the Pacers, but because it also has my name on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I got I like that, that special Lowry. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, uh, over under right now, Pacers are supposed to be 30 and a half wins for the season. Where do you put them for the season? I, I put them. I, I put them more than 30. Um, yeah. I, you know, I, I hate to always put a number on it, though. I did hit 45 two years ago. Yeah. Last year, I thought they'd win 50, and they won 42. Uh, I'm going to go up. I, I just I like what I've seen from this team in the preseason. I know there's going to be ups and downs. They're a young team. They've got to come together. But the energy that these guys bring every day, and, and there's something about that brand new St. Vincent Center as well, yeah. that it just gives them a lot of optimism for the year. It's going to be a tough one tonight against Brooklyn. I know they haven't been very good over the past few years, but they shoot a lot of threes. And then you've got Portland, Miami, yeah. Minnesota, Oklahoma City. I mean, we come out of the gates roaring. But uh, I think the fans are going to really enjoy what they see this year. One of those fans, Marcus Bailey.